Hey, what's up guys? How are you getting on? Are you well? I'm Ravi, of course, from EnglishHarmony.com and uh, on today's video let's talk about how easy it is to switch between English and your native language. For me personally, right? Even though you, you might think that I'm this fluency expert and therefore I can uh, do pretty much anything and everything when it comes to speaking in English. It's not really so, my friends. It's not really the case. And to be totally honest with you guys, when I switch between my native Latvian, right? I come from Latvia. That's the country where I, where I was born and bred and raised uh, up to the age of 23, if I'm not mistaken. That's when I emigrated to Ireland and I never looked back and I've been living here for 11 and a half years now and uh, probably I'll never go back but who knows who knows what the future holds for us all but anyway you might think that uh, I'm this fluent guy and I can uh, manage just about anything when it comes to spoken English fluency and related issues but it's not really so when I have to switch between Latvian and English sometimes it takes my mind, takes for my mind, a little bit to adjust. So, for example, if I were to go shopping with my wife, right, and she's Latvian too, and uh, then I would have to ask something to the shop assistant, there'd be probably a moment's hesitation between me speaking with my wife in Latvian and then suddenly facing this other person, speaking with them in English, you know? My mind just can't hack it, right? Which means I just can't uh, handle it. You know, hack it is a technical term, but it's become a widely used idiomatic expression or idiomatic language, really. It's not an expression to hack it. Well, it is an expression in its own right. I can't hack it. It means I just can't... Uh, I can't put this advice into practice, right? In theory, I, uh, I know for a fact that it is possible to switch between one language and another one, and there should be no problem with that because I'm speaking in English fluently and I'm a fluent Latvian speaker, so I don't see any issue, right? There is no compatib compatibility issue as such, but in practice, it takes me a couple of minutes probably get into my most fluent state of mind, so to speak. Say, for instance, I go to work and uh, then I would have been speaking with myself in the car a little bit to prepare myself for the upcoming day. And then I kind of get into the, this uh, completely English mindset, right? And then I can speak with anyone and everybody in English 100% fluently. But when I've been speaking in Latvian with somebody and then I have to face an English speaking person, this transition isn't as smooth as I would probably want to. But then again, nothing in life is ideal, my friends. And we just have to accept these small little glitches in our, in our mentality and we just have to work around them. So what's my uh, workaround solution? I would slow my speech down. That's that's what I would do, right? If I speak with my wife in Latin and then there's someone else, I would be very cautious about the way I speak. I wouldn't be giving my fluency free rein, which is a horse riding related term, really. When you give your horse free rein, you let the reins go and, uh, and the horse just takes off on its own, right? So if you give your fluency free rein, you basically allow yourself to speak completely freely. But at that moment in time, when I've been speaking with someone in Latin and then I speak in English, I can't really do that because if I do that, it's kind of hard for me to catch up with my thoughts using my speech in English. You know what I mean? My mouth hasn't been, hasn't uh, entered that 100% fluency state and I have to take it easy. I have to slow down a little bit and uh, I have to treat it carefully, which is another idiomatic expression meaning I have to be very careful about it, right? Write it down, memorize it, use it in your conversations, treat it carefully. 
And uh, yeah, that's me. I have to adjust every time there is a sudden transition between one language and the other. Obviously, there would be no issue speaking in English and then going back to Latin. Even though, having said this, I have to tell you guys that I do remember slight issues with coming back home from work and then having to speak with some visitors in Latvian. And I just, my mouth actually wanted to speak in English because I'd been speaking in English the whole day at work, you know. So probably the bottom line is the following. The more you use one language for a prolonged period of time, the more difficult it is for your mind probably to switch back or switch over to the other language, be it your native language or some other foreign language for you guys. So share your experiences with me. I would really love to read your comments below and uh, tell me what is the story with you. Do you find it easy to switch between your native language and English? Do you find it uh, completely effortless and uh, that it's no big deal for you? I would really love to know about you, my friend. And thanks for watching this video and see you soon again. Bye-bye.